49 years ago, Rapid City was hit by a deadly flood that killed 238 people. 15 inches of rain ravaged the town, forcing hundreds of families to relocate. Kelloland Sydney Thorson brings us one man's personal story with the Black Hills flood of 72. Dan Simpson, who is 19 years old at the time, was married to his wife, Claudia Lee Simpson, for about four months. She was funny. She was beautiful, brave. She had strong faith. Um, just a wonderful person. The evening of the flood, Dan remembers hearing the mayor on the radio telling everyone south of Jackson Boulevard to evacuate immediately. So they did. It was just the beginning of a night of destruction and terror. It wasn't long before their car got stuck in the rising water, so they found shelter in the nearest home, where they heard three kids screaming for help. Those little boys needed me to help them. I mean, that's, this had to be done. And Claudia knew what I was gonna do. The two were separated until Dan saw Claudia for the last time. And I saw her because she had a white raincoat on, and the lightning happened about every two seconds. So that was how we could see in the dark. And there was no way that I could have physically gotten to her. My father, he was scared that I would try and pulled me back. And just as I turned back around, the debris hit her, and that was the last I saw of her. As one of the worst tragedies in his lifetime, Dan was able to heal through time and see the event in a new light. Nothing. They had nothing. Their houses were gone, everything they owned. They didn't have a car, they didn't have any clothes. And the town just was amazing. The heart of this town for the people that had gone through this was just, I've never seen anything like it before or since. No homes were built on the Rapid Creek floodplain, again, to prevent any disaster like the 1972 flood from repeating itself. Instead, you'll find parks like this one for the community to enjoy. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. Dan has been married to his wife, Kathy, for the last 43 years. They now have two sons and two grandchildren. The city is planning events to mark the 50th anniversary next year.